What will you do if for some reason you already have converted your physical SIM into an eSIM and then suddenly you have a new phone? How are you going to transfer your eSIM to your new device? That's what we're going to talk about today. So if you want to know how you can transfer your eSIM to another device or to your new phone, new tablet, be sure to stick around. All right, so to transfer your eSIM to another device, there are two parts that we need to follow. The first one is for the source device where the eSIM is currently installed. And the other one is the destination device where the eSIM will be transferred or moved to. All right, so let's start with the source device. So in the source device, first thing that you need to do is to go to your phone settings. Once you are in the settings, tap on cellular. And from here, you will see the different SIM cards and you just have to choose which eSIM you would like to move to your new device. So for this tutorial, remember that we're going to move TFC tutorial. So that's 8477, last four digits. Just tap on that SIM. And then scroll down to the bottom and then tap on delete eSIM. So we basically need to remove this eSIM from this source device before we can install it to the other uh, device or to the new device. So tap delete eSIM. You will have to confirm by tapping on delete eSIM one more time. So this is a prepaid eSIM. So we don't have any worries about canceling the plan or anything like that. We'll just go ahead and tap delete eSIM. Once you have completed the deletion of the eSIM, you will get a pop-up that says line is no longer available. And from the cellular setting, you will now see that the number that we deleted is now showing as no SIM. So that means we have successfully deleted the eSIM and it's now ready to be transferred to the new device. So for the second part of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and work on the receiving device or the new device. And again, we'll just go to the settings, and then tap on cellular. We'll go ahead and tap add eSIM. And from here, we'll just go ahead and use QR code. Now, you might be asking why I'm using use QR code instead of transfer from nearby iPhone. Now, the reason for that one is because uh, you can only transfer from nearby iPhone if you're using the same uh, login information on the iOS device. So it has to be logged into the same iOS account or onto the same Apple account if you want to transfer from nearby iPhone. And since we're using different Apple account, so we'll go ahead and tap use QR code. We'll just go ahead and scan the QR code. And from here, the process is pretty much the same as with registering a new eSIM. So you'll just go ahead and tap on continue and then wait for it to activate. And then when it's activated, just tap on done. And from here, you just have to follow the on-screen dialogue and you should be good to go. So again, uh, this is for the 8477 eSIM. We'll go ahead and tap continue. 
and then just rename or give it a custom label and for this one it's TFC tutorial then tap continue then go ahead and just tap on done all right so from here you will see that the number has been successfully activated and transferred on the new device now if you're asking do i need to register the number if you have already registered previously and i assume you did you don't have to go through re-registration of the number since you've already registered that's just a one-time thing so that's it all right well that's it thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please don't forget to click on subscribe and turn on those notification bells and if you have any clarifications about the installation or the activation feel free to leave those in the comments and again i'll try my best to answer those questions as soon as i can as soon as i see them or as soon as i can Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you on the next video.